electromagnetic induction. Let's take a look at the definition for magnetic flux and magnetic flux linkage. Magnetic flux is the product of the magnetic flux density normal to the surface and the area of the surface. So this is the formula for calculating magnetic flux. And bear in mind that the flux density has to be perpendicular to the area A. The SI unit for magnetic flux is Weber, WB. WB is one Tesla multiplied by one meter squared. One WB is equal to one Tesla multiplied by one meter squared. So let's take a look at the base unit for Weber. In terms of the formula we're using, magnetic flux is equal to BA, and B can be substituted using the formula F equal to BIL. With this expression, we can now work on the base units, and we will arrive at this answer. Let's take a look at what happened if the area is not perpendicular to the magnetic flux density. So in this example, we have we're going to resolve the magnetic flux density into two dimensions, since the magnetic flux density is a vector. So we can resolve it in, B, in BY in this direction and your BX in this direction. BX is equal to B cos theta, hence the magnetic flux is equal to B cos theta multiplied by A. Let's now take a look at magnetic flux linkage. Magnetic flux linkage is defined as the product of the number of turns of the coil and the magnetic flux linking each turn. Hence, the formula is flux linkage is equal to MBA. Again, in the use of this formula, the magnetic flux density B must be perpendicular to the surface area. Now that we have learned magnetic flux and magnetic flux linkage, let's take a look at the two more terms that's commonly used in electromagnetism, which we have already learned. One is magnetic field. The other one is magnetic flux density. Magnetic field comprises vectorial lines, and when the direction of the field lines changes, the magnetic field changes. While the case of magnetic flux density, it quantifies the strength of the magnetic field. When the magnet is strong, its magnetic flux density around its vicinity will be high, and it will have a high density of magnetic field lines. Let's now take a look at the difference between magnetic flux and magnetic flux density. In the presence of a soft iron core, for example, in this case, this is a soft iron core, the magnetic field lines will be concentrated in them. If the magnetic field lines enter from the iron core from here and exits from here, let us examine how the magnetic flux and magnetic flux density changes as the field lines move from point A to point B. Magnetic field lines, like we know, will disperse themselves uniformly given the space and the area that they have. When the space and the area is small, the magnetic field lines will be densely packed. Conversely, when the area and the space is large, the field lines will spread themselves far apart. So by examining the density of the field lines, we can conclude that the magnetic flux density is lower at B and higher at A. There's another way to look at it. The magnetic flux that enters the soft iron core will be conserved and that magnetic flux will be the same when the magnetic field lines exit the soft iron core. So in this case, we know that phi is equal to BA, and at the entrance, the area is small. Therefore, we expect the magnetic flux density to be high. Conversely, at the exit, the area is big. Therefore, we expect the magnetic flux linkage to be low. Hence, in conclusion, magnetic field and magnetic flux density are both vectors. While in the case of magnetic flux and flux linkage, both of them are scalars. And when the magnetic field lines are concentrated in a soft iron core, then it is important to note that the magnetic flux is conserved since magnetic flux linkage is minimized due to the soft iron core. Consequently, it means that the magnetic flux density will be higher when the cross-sectional area perpendicular to the field lines is smaller. And as for magnetic flux linkage, for example, for a coil that's drawn here, if there are three turns, n is equal to three. And we'll be able to calculate the magnetic flux linkage of this coil. If the number of turns increases to five, then n will equal to five, which means your magnetic flux linkage is higher when the number of turns is larger.